And all the tribes started naming themselves, like I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, We the People, because that was the first line of the Iroquois Constitution. So when the Constitution was set up here, as a remembrance of who they are, most of the Native Americans... I just want to ask a question. Who really cares? To save the world. In the same way that our planet despair. revolved around the sun, and we have 365 days, and we have winter, summer, spring, and fall for all seasons. Our entire solar system is revolved around the galaxy. It takes 24,000 years for a complete evolution around the galaxy. And this is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, every 24,000 years, our history will renew itself. The message of the messenger was right and exact. In that 24,000 year process, you have four cycles, a moon cycle, a sun cycle, a moon cycle, and a sun cycle, 6,000 years apiece. Within that moon cycle, moon people are to rule. That is your European, your Celtic, your white man, whatever you want to call him. During the sun cycle, sun people must rule. That is us, the Nagar Ru, the dark skinned, woolly haired people, people on the planet Earth. How do you know and determine and distinguish the difference? Well, the science is being taught to us of the WAPO by none other than Dr. Malachi Colvin of York, our master guide and teacher, known to us as part of the Bab Yanun, tells us that as beings, we are non ether beings. You follow? Non-ether is the combination of all existing gases in our universe. When you take all the gases in our universe, including the noble gases of our planet, Xeon, Radon, Helium, and all the millions of gases in the universe, put them together, that whole spiritual power is called non-ether. And non-ether is what grew this universe. It also is what grows all stars, what stars are made of, like our sun. It's what you and I are also made of. Non-ether is a self-generating energy. It doesn't run out, it doesn't exhaust, you follow? But if you take and remove gases from that formula, it becomes weaker and weaker, from non-ether to 8-ether, to 7-ether, to 6-ether, down to ghost ether. He, the Celtic, was created out of ghost ether, you follow? So he is an animal in our image and after our likeness. He is the highest animal on the evolutionary scale, but he is still nonetheless just an animal. Where you and I are the original created deities of this planet. Right? Now, realizing that this cycle is coming in, we as a people have got to be prepared. Our ancient Egyptian ancestors have not forgotten us. One of them has come back, which is none other than Dr. Malachi Kobina York, the incarnation of Tukuta in this day and time. Well, what Nostradamus actually did was he just spoke on things that was already there. Like he used the book of Revelations mainly. Right? Right. right, that's in the Bible. Right? And he spoke about things. Now don't get me wrong, there are some things in the Bible that do hold some truth to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? However, right, the Bible within itself, right, there's a spell in it. You know why? Because the way that it's been mixed, diluted, and tampered with. You understand what I'm saying? Whereas, like, I give you an example, right? Like, you got a guy like King James, where everybody reads his version, his version of the Bible, right? So now, King James, which we you know historically, you know, his culture and what he was about was violence, homosexuality. He didn't even believe in the Bible. But he knew that this was a way to control the Catholic Church. You understand what I'm saying? By giving them this book, he could control it. Then he had his scribe, Shakespeare, who signed his name in the 46 song. All right? Shakespeare took, after Shakespeare passed, right? They found and out that Shakespeare, if you count down 46 yes, words from the top uh, of the 46 Psalms, you'll find the word shakes. You count 46 words up from the 46 Psalms, you'll find the word spear. Shakespeare said that he did this because King James would not allow him to sign his name in the Bible. Because King James was the king. He's a, he was like, yo, I'm, I'm the one writing. I'm the one doing all the work. Why can't I sign my name? King James was like, no. So it's when Shakespeare was writing it. He decided, decided. So now how is can, how can that be a holy Bible? Because holy means anything that's not mixed, diluted, or tampered. You understand what I'm saying? So now, we that, that's the actual fact. So I can go into more and more details, especially with the New Testament, when you got guys like Mark and Luke, who never even seen whom they call Jesus, who there is no actual factual proof that he even existed. You follow what I'm saying? What I mean by that is this. You see, like what we teach here, right, is about our great ancestors. This proven facts that they've existed. What I mean by that is that archaeologists have found this up. 
I have dug this out, right? You have pyramids, right? They show their existence. You have writings in stone on the wall. Go ahead. Our ancestors that you have Okay. You, uh, have okay, um, Amin Ra, I give you, you know, just a one, he's one of um, the, 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 the better known ancestors, because from him, this is why the Muslims and the Christians say Amen in their prayers, because of Amin Ra. They, they pay homage to Amen, that's why they say Amen, or they say Amin, this is, they pay homage to Amen, who is the teacher, who's the teacher, the teacher of the prophets. And you notice, right, that any time a prophet went to Egypt, that's when they became miraculous. What I mean by that is this. When you read the Bible, right, that Moses, before he, came, before he went to Egypt, he wasn't really built like that. When he came from Egypt, he was doing all kinds of stunts. He was throwing the staff down. He was coming up with tablets. He was freestyling. He was doing it, you know what I'm saying, big time. Same thing with Jesus. He came from Egypt. Now he's walking on water. You understand what I'm saying? Egypt. Let me tell you something about Egypt, right? You see the word university, right? That means the highest school of learning. <laughs> In Egypt, what that means is that you study the universe. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? That's where they, the Americans got the word university from because when you, cause like when you look on your dollar bill, right, you'll see, you'll see two government seals, right? You'll see two government seals, right? That's the seal of our ancient ancestors in Egypt, and that's the seal of America, right? This government taught this government. You understand what I'm saying? So just answer me this. Why would a European culture, right, have an African, Egyptian culture on their dollar bill? They're telling you something. They're telling you that we got all our information from here. I'm going to show proof to you this. 400 years ago, Europeans thought the world was flat. They was living in a cage. They didn't know anything. Then they, they tell you that they took slaves. They didn't take slaves. They took archaeologists. They took doctors. They took scientists. They took people that knew how to, 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 to navigate the lands and build roads and build structures. You understand what I'm saying? That's why the Moors in the Constitution are exempt. They wasn't slaves. These were the ones who was educating and teaching Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, and the founding fathers how to build a government, how to build a country. Because remember, we had dynasties, ancient civilizations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, came from us. We don't, we don't, we don't need to adhere to religion. Right. All religions come them. from us. Whether it's Christianity, you Judaism, Islam, man, man. we dealt with higher science. And that's it. We dealt with physics, higher sciences, calculus, trigonometry. Back in ancient Egypt, at the age of 13, kids were already masters of trigonometry and calculus. At 13. That's why you see the society so bad. Because we taught our kids at a young age how to deal with these sciences. Boom, putting up pyramids and this and that to us. As time went on, they took them sciences from like the, the, the Greeks came in, Socrates, you know, Isaiah, and all of them came in and studied up under us and they changed the sciences. Right now, there's a man called Hermes the Great. That's actually Zosa. They changed his name. He was one of the masters back then. It's the one you see the Egyptian picture with the guy with the the bird face. Right, they stole it from us. You see the picture of he's got the bird face and he's got a pen. He's the master scribe. That is the one who they worship in Greece called Thor or Hermes. Right now what's funny is they got these kids out here call the young girl stop. You slut, you thought. That's a disrespect to our you hear kids out here today talking about thot, or she's a thot, she's a whore, she's a thot. If you, if you catch, listen to the kids, they're actually disrespecting one of our ancestors, which is Zosa or thot. That's what they're talking about. They know what they're doing when they do this shit. They get us to disrespect our people. You know what I'm saying?
It's a state of mind. Yeah. Heaven and hell is a state of mind. It's a state of mind. When I was down, I was reading a lot of books by Malachi. You know what I mean? I'm actually enlightening myself. That's why I came home different. My, you know, my perception of life different. And, like, I've been trying to school my sisters, my mom and them about religion. They caught up. A lot of them is Christian. You know what I mean? They caught up. They can't. They think I'm. This is what they tell me. That's dead. You know what I mean? You brought down, but it comes from educating myself when I was institutionalized. I mean, when I was incarcerated. You know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't use my time to gain bang or it was mentally and physically. You know what I mean? Trying to get my shit together. So, like, I was using a lot. Right. That's why I saw you walk up. That's right. That's right. I want to add on to what you're saying, man. Right? Now, because at the time, too, when I was in the prison, I was with the nation. Yeah, no. For my process, it's York. Since the mid 80s. For sure. I'm here. You know, like, sometimes, like, because he's doing time, too. And, you know, while we're doing time, you know, we don't, you don't talk about the fact that we on you. Yeah, prophesy lies. Yeah, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. See, religion, I believe, it keeps you locked in. It keeps you into a corner, right? Because an idea is better than religion and belief. You know why? Because an idea with better information, you can have a better idea. If you get more information, you can tell me what you want to do. I got to get the central part. But my belief tells me. That everybody before me walk from here to Central Park. My people now I'm seeing other people taking a bus. And I got greed. a better idea. Not to take a bus. Now people are driving a bike. But if I'm locked into belief, I can't get on the bike or the bus to go down there because everybody's before me. Get it that way. Even though the idea is better than the belief. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the science, you know, with belief. Verse 31. We are here every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The prophet. Who really cares to save a world in despair? Who really cares? There'll come a time. There